everyone, this is Rick Santos, and I'm here to provide you a video on the follow vehicle information. First of all, you can find this information on our website at bakervegas.net. If you scroll down, right hand side, team captains, you'll find all the links for the follow vehicle information. We'll review some of the highlights today, go over some of the general information. And then you can reach out to me with any information or any questions that you may have. So first of all, your team is required to show up at minimum one hour prior to your team's start time to the follow vehicle check-in station. My advice is to be there a bit earlier, especially if you're a new team. There is a little bit of a process to go through once you arrive and getting your vehicle checked in and ready for race. Remember, your team cannot start until your vehicle has been checked in and it's in the staging area. So again, your runner will not be allowed to start, even if they're at the start line ready to go, until your vehicle has been checked in and you are at the staging area ready to go. Let's talk about the equipment. The amber rotating light. Every vehicle must have one. It can be either a rotating or a strobe light. It must be affixed to the top of the vehicle. It is highly recommended that you have a spare one uh, just in case your first one goes out. Uh, if all else fails, you can also use your flashers if needed. Sound systems. Sound systems are allowed. Okay, the only place we cannot have music is stages 18, 19, and 20. This includes earbuds or any type of other device. Please, no amplified sound in this area. Remember, this area is now highly populated and we do not want to upset our neighbors. Next page. Vehicle, vehicle code violations. All vehicle code violations are in play. Uh, just be aware, we have multiple agencies out there, CHP on the California side, NHP, Nye County Sheriff's, Vegas Metro. Everyone is, is aware that the race is going on and will be out there. And have been advised that if needed, uh, please go ahead and incite for the normal violations. Biggest violation that we tend to have is for speeding because we're running behind. So again, I cannot emphasize enough, please make sure that your teammates leave with plenty of time to spare. Follow vehicle following a runner. Okay, follow vehicle shall follow in the back uh, of the runner at a safe distance. Uh, this is especially important at nighttime. Please drivers, uh, we have had a couple of incidences Make sure that you're, you're wide awake. Make sure your co-pilot's there with you wide awake and you guys follow at a safe distance behind your runner. Fall vehicle shall stay to the extreme right-hand side of the roadway, straddling the pavement edge uh, when practical. There are a couple of exceptions that it states here. Bring these up for you. <clears throat> if, uh, if you need to drive alongside to give your, your runner water or any other type of aid, please do so. And exception number two, when a runner overtakes a follow vehicle, the overtaken vehicle shall move to the left to allow the runner to pass on the right. This is important. We don't want runners uh, obviously going around the follow vehicles. Follow vehicles, uh, please keep an eye uh, on your backside there. Make sure if you got a runner coming up that you move over. And the vehicle behind, if your runner is approaching, please let the vehicle in front of you know that your runner is approaching and pull to the left. That way your runner can pass. These are important bits of information there. Where there's sufficient, sufficient space between runners and the follow vehicles shall inform the overtaking vehicle via FRS radio that is okay to, to drive, uh, drive the lane and pass. So once your runner overtakes, the vehicle that was, that was in front will advise the team that just overtook uh, their runner when it is safe to fall in in front of them. 
at that point in time, you'll, you'll pull to the left and uh, get in front of that vehicle. All of this happens with proper communication. So please listen up on your radios. Follow vehicles, Highway 160. All follow vehicles and runners uh, traversing 160 between Pahrump and Fort Apache shall remain on the paved shoulder of the highway to the right of the fog line. Uh, hi here on Highway 160, there is more space on, uh, along the side of the road, so please make sure that you're inside of that safe space. Make sure, again, that you're paying attention behind, so as runners are approaching and those follow vehicles approaching, make sure that you're communicating as such. Runners passing, when a follow vehicle is to be passed by a runner, the overtaking follow vehicle shall move to the left as far as possible, staying to the right of the fog line, if possible, and uh, slow down so the runner can go ahead and pass. So please understand, <clears throat> runner safety is, is of the utmost importance. We also don't want to impede traffic, uh, create a, uh, a bad situation there. So pull to the left just a bit, let that runner through, slow down so that way you can fall behind both runners at that point and continue to follow in a safe manner. Uh, passing vehicles, uh, general rules for, for all vehicles here. Uh, the biggest thing is make sure that uh, we're not passing when, when it's not appropriate. Uh, overtaking vehicles shall pull to the far right of the roadway to assist the passing vehicle. Um, just make sure that we're, we're there working together to make the environment safe. Follow vehicle observer. Questions have been asked, hey, what, what is this role? How do we get this person? This person will be assigned by your team captain. It's best to always have at minimum two people in the follow vehicle. If you can have three, that's even better. But the observer's job is very important. So when you check in, your team captain will receive their official uh, run plan. They're gonna take those run plans and they're gonna put them in the follow vehicles. And you're going to have them there on a clipboard, hopefully. Hopefully your team captain gives you a clipboard. Put your follow, uh, your run plan on there. And you're going to be responsible, you being the observer, responsible for making any documentation that is necessary, such as uh, recording any runners that changed. So, for instance, if the runner for stage two did not show up and one of your alternates jumps in, uh, just make notation, cross out that runner, single line across their name, and then put in the runner who did run that leg. It's not a penalty, it's not a problem, as long as that person starts, checks in, starts with a white bib and finishes with a white bib. Unfortunately, if you do have a down runner, somebody goes down, obviously take care of the runner first. Um, the alternate will get out, grab the baton, and take off running. In that situation, once uh, you've uh, taken care of your fallen officer or your, your fallen runner, make sure that you note on your run plan a DR for downed runner and who finished the leg, which alternate did. Please make all notations in pencil. Uh, one last thing to, to also log is in the event that there are any delays. Every team should have at minimum one stopwatch in their follow vehicle. The stopwatch is to be used in the event that there is a delay in your time. Meaning if uh, you're a team that uh, guesstimated your estimated run time uh, too, too slow and you're running much faster and one of the stages are not open, you will be stopped on the course. At that point in time, you will start your stopwatch and you will stop it when uh, your runner is instructed to continue you will note that time and in which leg it occurred so that way we can take into consideration that time when we're calculating your final results. Next page. Talk about medical emergencies here. Remember, you as the follow vehicle, you are responsible for your runners. Watch your runners at all times. 
Uh, obviously, you may have to to leave your runner for a period of time to use the restroom to exchange uh, staff within the the follow vehicle. That's all acceptable. Just make sure that you're communicating that information to the other follow vehicles. Try and do it when there's other vehicles around, uh, so that way your your runner's not running by themselves, especially at night in the middle of nowhere. In the daytime, especially with the heat, and I've been checking the. Uh, the weather and it is going to be hot so please be advised look out for your your downed runners make sure that you uh, take care of them if they do go down get them into the van if you can uh, if any other um, medical aid is necessary this is why you have a first aid kit hopefully you have a defibrillator if needed uh, hopefully we don't but make sure that you have all the equipment there to take care of your your downed runner On here, there's some pictures of uh, the staging area as well as the entrail. Motors will take your run your your follow vehicles. They will escort them uh, to the staging area. Your runners will be by themselves for the first three miles of stage one. All southbound traffic will be held at the beginning. So again, if uh, you're you're running late, uh, you are going to catch a whole bunch of traffic uh, heading into uh, the start line area er on the top of every hour. So just be advised. Here we have a picture of the staging area and what it looks like, how the vehicles are staged. And here we have an example of as the runner passes, the follow vehicle falling falling in behind their runner. Here we have examples of how it's supposed to look with the runner inside of that fog line, the follow vehicle behind the runner as tight as possible to the to the right. And in this picture here, we have a violation with the runner running to the outside. This is not allowed. We do not want that. Here we have a couple of other violations as far as the vehicle. Passing the runner, you want to make sure that the runner is pushed over to the right there. Vehicle over here is passing in an improper manner, so that we have violations there. This picture here is, is a uh, illustration of a follow vehicle giving their, their runner water, uh, at which time, uh, once completed, they'll go ahead and they'll fall in behind their runner once again. We have traffic going through here, follow vehicle back there with the runner. Violation here of the follow vehicle, pushed out to the left versus behind the runner and to the far right. And a violation here of the follow vehicle not pushed to the right and behind their runner. Next page. Of course, uh, most of you have already gotten your vehicles. Hopefully you've looked at this. Many vans tend to work the best just because you can keep that sliding door open. But again, there's, you know, you can use other vehicles. Light bars, rotating stuff, things that you have on top of your vehicle. Once you get to follow vehicle check-in and you drive over to the staging area, it is about 15, 20 miles an hour that you guys will travel. Just make sure that the stuff that's on top of your vehicle is secured safely. The last thing you want is for that stuff to go blowing through the desert. So just make sure that you have everything secured. Flat tires, you are going to be responsible. There is no AAA out there, so you're going to have to change your own tires. I highly suggest if you don't know how to do so that you put somebody in the follow vehicle that does. This does happen to uh, occur from time to time. Also, one thing that you may want to check is that your follow vehicle actually has a spare tire. A lot of the newer vehicles today don't have spare tires just to uh, decrease the, the weight of the vehicle. So make sure that your follow vehicle has a spare tire and that you know how to access it. Common problems and solutions. So we look through here. 
FRS radios, make sure that you have your FRS radios on. Make sure that you have one in tune with the uh, race frequency at all times. It does work pretty well if you have the earpiece, but if not, that's okay. Just make sure that you're listening in because if you do not and uh, teams are trying to get a hold of you or the, the race officials are trying to get a hold of you and you do not answer, then that can be uh, a penalty. So make sure that, that we have our FRS radios on and that we're listening. The other radio, if you do have one in your follow vehicle, is for your team's frequency. So one that's always on the uh, channel for the race and one that's on the channel for your team, as well as backup batteries. This sometimes gets overlooked. So uh, I know it comes with rechargeable batteries. You may want to take those rechargeables out and figure out what kind of batteries go in it so that way you can replace them uh, if needed throughout the night. No alcohol at all, as you guys all know. Uh, this is automatic disqualification. So uh, I, I assume everyone knows this rule and, and will abide by it. Please make sure all of your teammates know. Make sure all your staff knows. No alcohol on the race course at all. Non-negotiable. Again, talks about uh, downed runner, heat exhaustion, heat stroke. It is going to be hot. Uh, one thing that uh, is recommended, obviously outside of cold water, is you may want to fill an ice chest with cold water uh, and sponges. So the sponges will help. You can hand the sponge to your to your runner. They can take the soaked sponge, uh, put it on the back of their neck, uh, and try and keep their body temperature down. This is a uh, tactic that works really well. So it may be something that you consider. And the follow vehicle check sheet. So you're going to have one of these at each stage. I, I suggest that you print one out and take it with you so that way you make sure that you have everything. Team name, vehicle information, all of that, they're up on top. They're going to check all of this information, make sure that it's working. Headlights, taillights, brake lights, all that it needs to be fully functional. Snow chains, we're not going to worry about this year. I know it says it there, but uh, I highly doubt that there's going to be any snow anywhere. So you should be fine. Water, tons of water. Uh, make sure that you have ice chest filled with water for daytime as well as a couple cases of water in the back of the or your follow vehicle. The caution runner ahead sign. I talked with Smitty's and Smitty is out of those signs, uh, but he we did come up with something else that, that can be used if you're going through Smitty's and you have... The alternative, which I believe is uh, a sticker that he created, that is not a problem at all. Uh, if you haven't gone to Smitty's yet and you're still planning on doing so, uh, I highly suggest that you can contact him immediately. And clipboards, pencils, trash bags, all that good stuff. Uh, binoculars, one thing that <laughs> gets overlooked but is, is a good idea to have is toilet paper. Make sure you have some toilet paper. Uh, the later that it gets, the less toilet paper there are in those porta potties. So it's it's nice when you have your own, uh, just in case. And that's all we got for the uh, follow vehicle video. If you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, don't uh, hesitate to give my information to your follow vehicle staff. Uh, my email is b 2 v coordinator at laprac.com. Once again, that's B2V coordinator at laprac.com. Phone number 714-313-0048. Thank you guys very much. See you guys in a couple weeks.